Bapak Ibu terkasih Selamat datang di True Corner Channel Channel yang membagikan konten kebenaran rohani Jangan lupa like, comment, dan subscribe Hello everyone and peace of Christ all of you, please invite your friends and today we will have some mixed topic between religion and politics and war and peace. Uh, all of us we see in the news what's happening in Jerusalem and what's happening in Israel. Now the news, you see for me I never receive my news from the news because the news always have an agenda. As an example, if a Jewish person, he is an Israeli, he is making news about what's happening there, he will say to you, Hamas, Habibi, attacking us, Chaba, Hamas, okay. When you hear somebody is a Muslim, he said, the Jews, the Jews are the ugly one, they are killing us. So in order to see the truth, you know, you have to take a distance from both sides and not to listen to TV stations. TV stations never report news. TV station report agendas. Doesn't matter what TV station it is. Fox News, CNN, Muslim News, Christian News. Usually there's no news in the news. Everybody has given you mostly an opinion, not a news. So today we are not going to go and follow the waves of stupidity in this world. Like I saw the Muslim post in a video of a girl, she said to a Jewish man, you are stealing my house, he said to her, well, if I did not steal it, someone else will steal it. Is that a true video? We do not know. But if this is true, this guy is an idiot. Because simply this is not her house, and this is a fabricated video. In fact, the one who stole the houses of the Jews is the Muslims. And this is the truth. Every single page in the Quran and in the Hadith says that Muhammad took their houses. And their house is not only in Jerusalem, their house is all the way to Mecca. Is it the Muslim they keep saying to us, do you know the story of the Jewish guy, the neighbor of the Prophet, who used to piss on his door? Which is a fabricated story. So what happened to the Jewish guy who used to piss on the door of the Prophet? Where he disappear? What happened? This is the land of the Jews. Saudi Arabia is not the land of the Arab only. That is a lie. And we will show you the evidence. And actually, the place where Muhammad is buried now is buried in the center of the city of the Jews. It's called Yathrib. And Muhammad and the gang of Muhammad stole it. So the Jews not only should take Jerusalem, they should take the heart of Saudi Arabia, the grave, the tomb of Muhammad, he don't belong there. They should take him away and send him to Pakistan. And remember, we are not going to take a side, we are going to show you proofs and reference from the Islamic books, not from the Jewish books. Islamic books which consider authentic, If you ask a Muslim, when the first time the Arab entered Jerusalem or, the, or Israel, all the Muslims agree that the Caliphate Omar, he invaded this land after Muhammad's death. Muhammad had never been there. They say to you that in a dream, Allah took him and he took him over a donkey and then he went to Jerusalem and there was 124,000 prophets there waiting for him and each one of them have a donkey. Imagine in Jerusalem right now in the year 2021 that there's 124,000 donkeys and nobody see them. Forget about the prophets. 
And all of them, they are in Al-Aqsa square yard, supposedly. And based in such a funny claim that Muhammad, he, you know, he went all the way to Jerusalem, that's it, they want to have Jerusalem. That's it, Jerusalem is ours. It doesn't matter who used to live there, it doesn't matter who, not a single person speak Arabic in this land. The first time Arabic is presented is when the Caliphate, which came long after Omar al-Khattab, Abdul Malik ibn Marwan, he said, let us make all the language here Arabic, because the language was the, let us say, the major language was Aramaic. If we ask the Muslim now, if there are some Muslims watching us, please feel free to join us in the conversation and correct me if I'm wrong. Who is the one built Al-Aqsa? Any Muslim can tell me? The one you call it the mosque of Al-Aqsa. I will give you options. Is it your prophet? Is it your caliphate? Or it was the Jews? Any Muslim? waiting for Muslims to give me an answer. Any Muslim can help us? According to your religion, who is the one built the mosque you call it Al-Aqsa? Guess what? Even the Muhammadans, they agree that the one who built what they call it a mosque, which is not a mosque actually, one who built it, it was David. Can you believe it? If there's any Muslim here when I say to me, you are lying. Anyone? Look at them. Nobody dare to say I'm lying. Nobody, because we can prove it in two seconds from their books. Any Muslim is willing to say to me the truth, who is the one who built your holy mosque? Anyone? Let us go to the books of the Muhammadans, which is considered the most high books. This is, remember, not the books of the Jews. We are not using the Jews to prove anything. You see, in the court of law, you don't, prov you don't provide an evidence written by your hand. You provide an evidence written by your, the one who opposing you in the case, right? So if you are suing somebody, you don't write a check says, okay, he signed it. It's you who signed it. He have to sign it if you want to accuse him of something. Really be careful. When Suleiman, Suleiman is the name of Solomon in Arabic. Bin Dawood, the son of David, finished building Baytul Maqdis. Hey Abdul, who is the one who finished building Baytul Maqdis? It is not Yasser Arafat. It's not your prophet. It's not the Caliphate Omar. It's not potato and tomato. It is Solomon, the son of David. 
So why all TV stations in the world, including those who they are in Europe? Why the stupid Joe Biden saying he is worried about the right of the Palestinians? When those Palestinians are not even Palestinians, those are Arab who came as an invasion and the land they are in, all of them, not only those houses, this is not their land. In the top of that, even like now, the problem is about people who they settle there and they are not owning the houses. This is the land they don't own. They give them temporarily housing because they were refugee and now that's it. They own the houses. They will never leave. And now the filthy Joe Biden and because Joe Biden, he is the puppet of Obama and Obama, he support Iran and Iran support Hezbollah and Hamas. We see what we see. Actually, if you ask yourself, what happened in the last four years? Why Hamas did not do any attack? I mean, they were like, eh, plain. How come now they became so aggressive? Because we have Joe Biden. And Joe Biden mean Obama. And Obama mean give money to Iran, give weapon to Iran, lift the sanctions on Iran, and Iran will flood Hezbollah and Hamas with money and weapon. So now they notice that America is not there. America actually now is in their side. Everybody knows that the Democratic Party is in bed with the Muslim Brotherhood, which is Hamas. The biggest supporters for the terrorist group, the Muslim Brotherhood, is the Democratic Party in USA, not only Qatar. And we can prove it easy. Joe Biden, he sent the messenger to the Israeli and he requests to meet with them and he said, what's going on? The Israeli, they gave him, excuse my language, a big finger. He says, none of your business. This is our land. This is our land, you donkey. Coward. So here you will notice that those Israeli, they are not fighting only a 1.6 billion. They are fighting America, they are fighting Europe. The whole world is against them because the whole world is corrupt and everybody is a liar. At Jazeera TV, they made a big program about the white people, they stole the land from the Indian people, when all the Middle East is a theft. Iraq is the land of the Assyrian and the Chaldean. Syria is the land of the Syrian. Jordan is the same. The Palestinian there are the Aramaic, not those Arab who came as an invasion. What about Morocco? What about Egypt? What about Turkey? Turkey, all of it, there's no Turkey. This is the land of the Greek people. 30% of it belong to Armenia. Other 20% belong to the Syrian and the, other, the rest belong to, to, to Greece. The filthy Erdogan, he called, oh, they are going to take a few houses from the, from the Palestinian, this is not their houses. And he himself, the filthy, the coward, he just took our church. How come he can't take our church? And this is our land. Remember, this is our land. This is not their land. Not only they took the church, they took the whole city. They took the whole territory. It's okay for Muslims to take, but you cannot take it back because they are supremacist. And then you will see Muslims making like there's a guy, his name is Ali Dawa. Uh, he's holding the phone. A call from Allah message to Palestinians. A call from Allah message to Palestinians, you coward. Actually, I just saw a video, is anti-Jews. And he's, the, the guy is trying to show you that the Jews are, they believe that they are a chosen people. And here you see the Muslim making all the comments, <laughs> racist, <laughs> coward, <laughs> you stupid idiot. It's your God who says they are chosen people. Idiot. Chapter 2. Verse number 47. O children of Israel, remember my favor which I bestowed upon you, and I favored you above all al-alameen. Alameen, it's all mankind. 
I'm between two bracket uh, for your time period in the past. In the past, huh? in the past. Yeah, because now it's time you're over. You, I favor you is expired. But here you notice the stupidity of the author of the Quran. I mean, the idiot, he says there's no Israel. And then he called them the children of Israel. If we ask Zach and Nick, he will say, Brother Sitter, this is the land belong to the Brazilian. And don't do it, they took it from him. Zach and Nick, idiot, certified donkey. Even your Quran says this is the land of the Jews. Even your Quran say this is the land of the Jews. Not only it says it's, it's, it's the land of the Jews, it is assigned to the Jews. It's not assigned to the Arab like me. It's assigned specifically to the Jews. So the Muslim, they, you know, Muslims always they have their own reasoning. Brother, this is in the past, brother. Brother, in the past. Like, what? So, but but you just admitted that this is the land first. What past? So you jump in the house from my my house from the window. You change the lock and you say this is my house now. This is what they do. They come to your country. Muhammad, he came to the Jews as a refugee. The best refugee Muslim in the world, Muhammad. What he did, he came to the city as a refugee from Mecca. He killed all the Jews. He slaughtered all the men. He killed even their boys. And he raped the women. Once a Muslim, he said to me, that is a lie. I said, what's a lie? He said, the prophet don't kill the Jewish children, you are a liar. I said, are you sure? You know me when I say, are you sure? I mean, something is going to happen, right? Are you sure? Let me find the reference. Here we go. A Jewish guy from Bani Quraidah, this is now after he grew, he became a man. And this is the Islamic books. And now the guy, because he became a kid under their control, say so he is became a Muslim. They forced him to convert to Islam. He's a slave. I was among the captives of Bani Quraidah. They, the companion, examined us and those who had begun to grow here in the pubic area were killed. You know, Middle Eastern, we are hairy people. So you will have hair even if you are almost seven years old. So the filthy Muhammad was slaughtering every single boy between those Jews. If you have hair, they made them all naked. Do you see the mercy of Allah? And the Muhammadan, they say to you, we don't do that in Islam. And then the hadith says, in different hadith, hadith, for those who do not know, uh, is a report, speech, you know. Sometimes it says by Muhammad, sometimes it says by people in his time about him or about something happened. Based on this, I should have been killed since I was two days old. Do you know that guy, what's his name? The movie is called uh, The Dictator. They show you that uh, uh, Aladdin, he was born and he was one day old and he have a beard down his private part. This is what happened to some of us in the Middle East. Very hairy. For sure in the movie they are exaggerating. It. Like, come on, it's not that long. So, who is the one who owned the land? This is the land of the Jews. If I am a Jew, I'm going to ask right now for my land in Saudi Arabia. My land should not be in this little tiny, very small land. It's called Israel now. Israel is not this one. Israel is where the Jews, they live. All of us, we knew 
that the Jews they used to be baptized by John the Baptist in the river of Jordan. From both sides, all of us we knew about the trips of the disciples, about the Lord trips and his disciples, even the, all the way to Sidon in Lebanon. Lebanon today. And all of us we knew that the Syrian, their language is Syriac. Syriac, not Arabic. They are Syrian. The Lebanese are not Arab. All of those, they came as an invasion. You go right now to Iraq, you will see nothing but Bedouin. What happened to the Assyrian? What happened to the Chaldean? What happened to the black people? They brought them as slaves in the city of Basra. If you go right now and search on the internet, search for revolution of the Zinj, where the Arab, they slaughter hundreds of thousands of a black people with no mercy. They brought them all the way from the middle of Africa. And when those black people became a big number, majority actually, they became even more than the Arab, the white Arab. They start asking for their rights. The Arab, they got the Turk, the Albanian, white European Muslims, and they slaughtered them. If we go and we check some more reference, here is an example, a story about people who they are living in the city of Muhammad, which is not his city. And imagine they are talking about the story of the Jews in a book, it's called the Book of Nikah. The Muslim, they say it's mean marriage, the fact it's mean effing. Imagine you mention how they slaughter people taking their women in a book, it's called How to F. And here Muhammad, he killed the tribe. He slaughtered all the men and the boys who they have little hair around their pubic area. And now they are talking about an important woman. Her name is Safiya, who later Muhammad, she ended in his laptop, which is his lap. They were exchanging the Jewish women as sex toys. And this Sophia, Muhammad, he killed her father, her brother, and her husband, and she was a bride. And in the same time, same night, in the same day, he raped her. And then they say to you, the Jews are bad people. You see the problem with the Jews today? They are too much left. You see, they say to you, in Israel there is right and left. There is no left. there is no right wings in Israel. This Netanyahu is a potato. They fooled themselves by an agreement with Imarat. And what did they call it? The Pact of Abraham. You are right. They buy from Turkey, Netanyahu, the potato. He spent more than $5 billion a year buying steel from Turkey, sponsoring the terrorist Erdogan. And then Erdogan, he sent big fortune of it to Hamas. They provide Turkey with all technology to make drone. And then the Turkish, they sell it to Azerbaijan and to Hamas. And then Hamas attacked them back. Just yesterday, they used a drone to attack Israel. Thank you, Netanyahu. You are a genius. Netanyahu encouraging people to go and invest in Emirat. Don't you know you're stupid that those people, they can flip in you over one second and they can take your money it's in their land. Who is the stupid? He is a Jew. He is going to invest money in Emirat. 
Are you crazy? Are you mental? The problem in Israel is not only that they are fighting Hamas. The problem in Israel is that you don't have David. You need David, my friend. You do not need Netanyahu. You do not need a coward. You do not need someone politically correct. In order to fight your enemy, you need to understand what is your enemy. Who is your enemy? What your enemy want? Let us say for the sake of argument, for those who they are left-minded, by the way, they call you left for a reason, because you are always right, I mean in a wrong way. That's why they choose the direction left for you, and you choose it for yourself. I mean, imagine you call yourself left. The word right present the right hand and being right, and you, actually, you, you choose to be left. Okay. Amazing. If you go right now and look at the map all those Arab have in their map they teach in the school, you will see there is no part stop with Jerusalem. You will see that Israel does not exist in their map. You will not find a single Islamic country agreeing that the map in the map there is something called Israel. Isn't it this is enough for you to understand? that the more you compromise, the more you are going to be demolished. Let us say for the sake of argument, those Jewish people there, they give Jerusalem up, which will be the end of Israel if they do. Are they going to stop there? Maybe people do not notice that there's no Israel left anyway. I mean, it's a very small, tiny country. The stupid leaders of Israel, already they gave up more than half of Israel to Hamas. Already. Are they going to stop? No. We are against violence. We don't want war. But they will never stop. When somebody says I'm a Muslim, what does that mean? A Muslim is believer in Islam. And what Islam says about the Jews? Islam says kill all the Jews. Maybe I'm making things up. But they say this is true. Every Muslim believe blindly in Muhammad and Muhammad he made it clear that judgment day will not be established until you kill all the Jews not some of the Jews the apostles say that is Muhammad supposedly apostle of the devil the hour will not be established until you fight the Jews and even you see here notice with me carefully even the stones will be against the jews see it's not the muslims only stones trees a different story it says a stone or a tree even the stones they will say to a muslim hey hey abdul there's a jack shalom is behind me come and kill him and for sure the muslims he will do his duty as a butcher to butcher all the Jews. You see, all those who live in America and YouTube, they don't dare to read this hadith and say, Allah Akbar, we do it because they knew what will happen, right? But all of us, all of, all of them, they believe in this. If they don't dare to say it, it doesn't mean they don't believe in it. They don't dare to say it because they are wearing the burqa. They live in USA. But I think if you live in England, you can say it. Because this England is gone. The mayor of London, who is a Muslim from Pakistan, if you ask him, do you believe in this? 
Do he dare to say in public, I don't believe in the prophet statement? Why a Muslim should kill every Jew? And then they will show you an Israeli soldier. He is holding a kid and he's dragging him, but they will not show you that the kid, he was throwing a rock which can kill the soldier a minute ago. And you know those uh, Muslims from Hamas, when the Jewish, they come to arrest them, you will see them laughing. Do you know why? They take them to jail, TV. TV, there's a TV. Nice food, five stars hotel jail. Imagine if what's happening was happening in the land of Saddam Hussein. And the soldiers of Saddam Hussein are coming to take you. He will be terrified. He will be doing poopoo in his band. But because he knew he's going to go to the hotel of Netanyahu. And what they will do to them? Nothing. There's a guy, a Jordanian guy, he killed more than 16 child. The Israeli, they put him in jail for a few years and let him go. Can you believe it? They are teaching the enemy, come and kill our children. We will put you in a hotel. We will give you free internet. You can even take a selfie of yourself and post it in Instagram. And then after a few years, you go home and they will call you a hero. So the problem is not only a problem done by the terrorist. The problem is that Israeli people, they do not know how to deal with those terrorists. They are fooling themselves, hoping for peace. Peace will never happen there. All of us, we know that. The only time happiness or peace will happen if one of you finish the other one. Because I'm not saying that. This is, here we go, it's in front of you. Those people believe in this. They believe in a duty that they have to commit genocide against the Jews and kill every Jew in the world, not only in Israel. Remember, in the time of Muhammad, Israel was under the occupation of the Roman. Uh, Muhammad and he made a comment saying, Israel established 1948, you idiot. Israel established before your prophet was born by thousands of years. And even your stupid Quran keeps saying, children of Israel, children of Israel. And even your stupid Quran says that Allah, he assigned the land for them. And even your stupid hadith says that the one who built the temple was David. Here there's a video of Al-Qaradawi, the leader of the Muslim Brotherhood, the one who Erdogan in love with. He is saying in this video in Arabic that the Jews always need somebody to teach them how to behave. In other way, they need somebody to kill them. And he was praising Hitler for what he did. Allah sallat alayhim tuwala al-tariq man yuaddibuhum natilata ifshadihim. Allah, through history, unleash on them the one who teach them how to behave because they are filthy on earth. The last one who taught them how to behave was done by Hitler. This is the guy who is sponsored by the Prince of Qatar, who is protected by Erdogan, who all of them they give him citizenship and he is the head of the Islamic scholars in the world. And then they say to you, the Jews are racist. And by the way, I'm not defending the Jews. Maybe there's many can be racist. Why not? There's racists everywhere. There's stupid people everywhere. There's ugly people everywhere. 
there's racists who claim to be Christians. But this is a religion now. You see, people do not want to understand that this is not a war between the ethnic of the Arab and the ethnic of the, the, the Israeli. That is a stupid statement. This is a religious war. Why are Dugan is supporting the Palestinians? Because they are Muslims. Why the Prime Minister of Pakistan, what he have to do with it? Because they are Muslims. And who is going to support the Jews? Joe Biden, the one you know the thing, who is the puppy of Obama, and Obama who hate the Jews, and he hate Israel. And the proof of that, he gave all the money to Iran, so Iran can be flourish, and sponsor all terrorist groups in the world. And all of them, they share one thing, death to America, death to Israel. Just two days ago, tens of thousands of Turkish and Syrian refugees, they went in the streets in Turkey, shouting death to America, death to Israel. And Joe Biden, he loves refugee. He will open, he will increase the number of Syrian refugees who will come to America because they love us. But for sure, Joe Biden, he can explain it to you. If you say to him how you will bring those people who they are shouting death to America, death to Israel, to America, he will say to you, you know the thing. And that's it, it's explained. So fast, so easy, you know the thing. So it's okay for Muhammad to take the land of the Jews, to slaughter the Jews, to teach hate against the Jews, to say kill them wherever you find them, to say the most enemy to you is those who they are called a Jew. But if a Jew, he says anything, he is racist, he is filthy, he is disgusting, he is anti-human, he is not from this world. Criminals! And you will see that all the news is against Israel. I flip TV stations one after one, see to and YouTube, and I don't have cable, you know? And all of them, they are the same, even stupid Fox News. The world today is disgusting, and the truth is hurtful. And let us see how long it's going to take YouTube before they take my video down. Because the second you say the truth, that... Can you believe it? If you quote Muhammad saying, kill the Jews, they will say to you, you are teaching hate. Muhammad saying that, not me. Take Muhammad down. If a Muslim, he say it in his page, it's okay. This is the perverted world. And the funny, by the way, which make it more funny, that the one who's against the Jews are the Jews too. The owner of Facebook is a Jew, the owner of Twitter is a Jew, and they will take you down. A Muslim, he posts a video of Allahu Akbar Takbir, behead those who insult the Prophet. Behead who? Behead those who insult the Prophet, brother. Is that against your regulation? No. Freedom of speech. What? It's a freedom of speech. But if I say this is wrong, oh, you are teaching division. But what? You will notice that every single Muslim YouTube have donation active. They never take it down. We cannot. Hey Google, when you post the pictures of insult those who behead the Prophet, 
how come you are allowed to post it? Hmm? Is it okay for you to post it? Oh, we are Google, we can post it, okay. But you cannot speak negative about it. So what? Muslims are nice people and they believe in a nice belief. Behead those who insult the Prophet. And they are peaceful. I challenge you to prove that Islam does not teach peace. I can play for you now Obama saying that, George Bush saying that, the donkey, I mean every donkey in the world saying that. This is a woman, she's taking her kid, he's a baby, he's an infant almost. Behead, look at this, those are in Europe. A woman with her child behead those who insult the Prophet. And then in Europe they say to you, uh, we don't know how to stop terrorism. I think we should not speak against the Prophet because that will make Muslims upset. She is taking her baby and she is taking selfie of him. Behead those who insult the Prophet. Very friendly religion. They want to kill everybody. Because Islam is bees. Obama says so. Michelle Obama says that. Hey, Michelle Obama, what about you move to Saudi Arabia and let us see how they treat you as an African lady? But Muhammad, he said that Allah will send the beast in the code of Jassasa. And yesterday we read it, you know, you remember? And Allah will make all the Muslims white people and all non-Muslims black. Well, Muhammad, he said that Allah created the black people from the left shoulder of Adam. And he said to them, you go to hell and I don't care. And he created the white people from the right shoulder of Adam. And he said to them, you go to heaven and I don't care. So Islam is anti-racism, racism. Islam supports a human right. Islam is perfect. We only, we want to kill the upper state, kill non-Muslims. Kill the gays and the lesbian. We want to kill the atheist. We want to, you know, simply we are peace. This is Islam. And you see here, I'm not talking about Muslims, by the way. I'm talking about Islam. But at the end of the day, a Muslim is somebody believe in Islam. Not the opposite. Not Islam believe in a Muslim. So when somebody says I'm a Muslim and he truly a believer, will he believe in this? Why want to lie to each other? And then somebody will say to you, there's a moderate Muslim. There's nothing that's called moderate Christian or moderate Jews or moderate Muslim. Either you are a Muslim or not. Either you are a Christian or not. Enough with hypocrisy. Enough with the stupidity. This is the land of the Jews. And guess what? Even if you bring Joe Biden with you, even if you bring Saddam Hussein from his grave, even if you bring al-Baghdadi, which we hunt him by a dog and Allah could not save him, even if you bring Muhammad from his grave, which he was killed by a poison by a woman, Muhammad, a Jewish woman, who he killed her tribe and her husband and her brother and her uncle. Even if you bring them all, you cannot take it back because it never was beyond to you. We took it from you and why say take it back because you have it for some time. But this is the land of the Jews. And God, he promised them that land. Actually, even your stupid Quran promised them the land. Not only in the verse we showed you. Chapter 5, verse number 21. No, 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 no. Even the Quran, you see, Muhammad is a thief. He copied the Old Testament. He's an idiot of the village. In certain time, he was trying to be a Jew. Maybe the Jews will follow him. 
but the Jews were smarter. So Muhammad, he heard that the Bible says that God will gather the Jews from around the world. Muhammad, he copied the verse, he put it in the Quran. Do you see it? Do you see it? Even in the stupid book of Muhammad, it says that God will gather the Jews from around the world. Muslims, are you going against the will of your God? What's wrong with you? Uh, anyway, I see some comment in the chat have nothing to do with our topic. Don't post your email, my friend. What I would do with your email? If you are blocked, change your account. I mean, what's a big deal? It's a Google stupid thing. As if I blocked you, somebody blocked you from heaven. It's Google. So my friends, the truth is the truth. And the truth is, that we should give back not only Jerusalem to the Jews, most of Saudi Arabia belong to the Jews. Most of Yemen belong to the Jews. Most of Morocco belong to the Jews. This is the truth. Why it's okay to take their land and why it's not okay to take it back just because you took the house and you live there? What kind of logic this logic is? And remember, if you are a Christian, you support what is right. You don't side with the Jews. You don't even side with the Christian. You don't side with the Muslim. You side with what is right. And what is right, all of us, we knew. If you open your book, you know that this is the land of the Jews. And this is not a war about the land. This is a war about God. Islam is a religion belief that every other God must die. Every other religion must be erased. Islam is a government to rule the whole earth. Do you think they will stop with Jerusalem? They are coming to you in Taiwan. They are coming to you in China. They are coming to you in, in, in Cyprus. They are coming to you in Greek. They are coming to you in Rome. They are coming to you everywhere. This is their dream and they will never stop until they take the whole land. Not the land of the Jews only. So if you let them take the land of the Jews, you are giving them the key for your land too. If Erdogan, he can take of a Greece, do you think he will stop? He will take it tomorrow, today. And they did actually took more than half of Europe, not long time ago. History can repeat itself. And it's going to repeat itself. Because mankind are stupid and people, they forget the history. If you allow unjust in one place, you allow unjust in all the world. And Islam is unjust religion. You will see an idiot saying to you, Islam teach justice between mankind. Do you know that Islam he order to kill every single Christian and every single Jew unless they pay money to live? Oh, we do not know that. It's not true. And then you will see Obama quoting for you, just to show you the coward Obama. The hypocrite, the liar. He quote for you this verse. Oh, not, not this verse he quoted. Hold on, hold on. He quoted even something yeah, this one, this one is for different purpose. 
<laughs> Obama he called for us chapter 5 verse number 32 and he did not quote even the whole verse he says the Quran says if a person he killed one human being unjustly as if he killed all mankind but they will not tell you that in Islam only Muslims are the one you cannot kill them. There is a there is a very famous Muslim in England because England became the nest of terrorism. The biggest nest of terrorism in the world. In the BBC, they asked the guy, this guy Anjam Chowdhury, or Chowdhury, is from Pakistan. Why you don't condemn the killing of innocent people? Why what? Why you don't condemn the killing of innocent people? What he said? He gave the answer. How many times we hear the Muslims saying Islam condemned the killing of innocent people? We showed you Muhammad killing the Jews, slaughtering the Christians, slaughtering everybody. But they will say always that Islam condemned and they will quote for you a verse. Of Mahajirun. He said, going back to 2004. Let us see where is the... State, which, is, uh, which is stealing the land of Muslims, which is the state of Israel in Palestine. If you're going to be carpet bombing uh, a country yeah, like Afghanistan... I've allowed you... Like, I've allowed you. Like, see, see, see? Stealing the land of the Muslims. You cannot steal the land of the Muslims. We can steal your land. Okay, we stole it from them before and they cannot steal it back. But they are not stealing this other land. And he, now he is answering about why they are bombing in London. This is not a bombing in Israel. Whoever they are on the ones, I must have allegiance with them. I must cooperate with them. I must love them. And similarly, on the other hand, I must have hatred towards everything which is non-Islam. You know what? I'm, I'm trying not I to interrupt have... you too much, but, yeah, but I still don't feel you have addressed. Gonna... I should have hatred to anything is not Islam. That is the truth. So those liars who say that there's Muslim who believe in democracy, they bring you a, a congresswoman, her name is Ilhan Omar, she is dancing with the gay and the lesbian. This is just to win the election, you coward, stupid. Question. Were the people on the underground trains and on the bus legitimate I'm, targets I'm because they come, were not Muslim? I'm coming on to your point. You've asked, you've asked about, actually were. No, no, you've asked about two or three different uh, different questions. You've asked about innocence. You've asked about whether they were legitimate target. You've asked about whether I'm condoning or condemning. You've asked about whether I praise. We've moved on. Those from questions. That. No, but I've all of those questions. Very simple. All question. of those questions deserve to be answered, and uh, obviously we have the time to explore them. So if I just continue with this particular point, as far as Muslims are concerned, their allegiance is always with the Muslims. So I will never condemn a Muslim. For, for what he does. Indeed, I'm, I, I must stand with him, whether he's an oppressor or oppressed. Now, as far as those people who... I have to support him regardless if he's oppressor or oppressed. I have to side with him regardless if he is oppressor or oppressed. That's what Muhammad said. Did the operation on 7-7 a concern? If their actions were in line with the Sharia, and only God can judge that, then they will be, uh, they will get the reward for that. Well, if they weren't in clearly, line with the Sharia, then obviously they will get their, the, the, they will get the result of that on the day yeah. of judgment. When as you far take... as I'm concerned, I can only see whether it's a legitimate one according to the Sharia, or illegitimate according to the Sharia. When you take that position, you must accept that you are isolated. He's isolated, you are right. You see those stupid people in the like BBC, you are isolated. This TV station, I think channel number four, they made a, a, a movie, or it's called Dispatch, and they went inside the mosque to record in secret, like secret recording, hiding camera. And they found that all the mosque, they teach nothing but hatred, not only against the Jews, against the Christians, against the Hindus, against anyone who don't believe in Islam. I don't know in which moment when he said to him, why you don't condemn it when 
Sheikh Omar Bakri, he said, uh, we condemn uh, killing of innocent people. He said to him, well, you need to understand, innocent people in Islam is Muslims only. The house has been bombed, for example. Okay, we lost connection. All right. Eight years, during which you've been in existence, saying that the... Anyway, you can watch the video. I cannot find the, the, the part where he said, uh, look like the, the, the video is long. But he said, you need to understand that clean, innocent people mean Muslims. Only Muslims are innocent people. Anything else is not innocent. I cannot find the original recording. But anyway, you can look for it and you can check it out yourself. And this is the truth. And even if we go to Ibn Kathir, their biggest scar, it says, killing an innocent person is only a person who don't deserve to be killed. And that mean Muslims. That's mean Muslims. So when Anjam Shawadri, he said what he said, he is not making up a story. Islam is white supremacist cult. Anyone who don't believe in Islam must die. And actually, the Hadith says it clearly. That the duty of the Muslims is not only to bring the Jews and they have a chain around their neck. The Hadith says, that the Muslims, they have, actually the Jews have to be killed, we showed you that. But according to Muslims, in the book of the Jihad, you see the Jihad, the Muslims, they say, Jihad means to fast, brother. Jihad means, you know, yeah, right, right. This is Jihad. Abu Huraira reported the Prophet saying that Allah wonder about people who enter paradise with a chain in their neck. What does that mean? Muslims taking the prisoners, capturing people, and force them to, com to convert to Islam. You are the best of people ever raised for mankind. The Muslims believe that they are supremacists. They are the best. What make them the best? The best for mankind are those who bring them with the chain round their necks till they embrace Islam. So the problem in Israel is not about the land. The problem is that those are Jews. You see, when the Muslims, they have Jankiz Khan occupying them, it was a problem. But Jankiz Khan, if he became a Muslim, is not a problem. So when the Tatar, they came and they occupied their land, it was a big problem. But when they convert to Islam, okay, they ruled them forever. The Turkish, who they are the grand grandsons of the Tatar. They occupy Egypt, they occupy Syria, they occupy Iraq, they occupy all Islamic countries, and nobody complained because they are Muslims. The Albanians, they did rule Egypt for more than a thousand and two hundred years. Albanian, I mean, how in the world Albanian they can rule Egypt? Because they are Muslims. But when the French they came to Egypt, sorry, the, the English they came to, and the French came to uh, uh, Syria and those countries, Allahu Akbar, Jihad, Allahu Akbar, because they are not Muslims. So the whole world is not understanding what is the mentality of this cult. This cult believe if you are a Muslim, you can occupy me, you can rape my wife, you can kill, you can do whatever you want. Nobody complain about Saddam Hussein. But the friends who open schools for them, they are occupation, kuffar. They are kuffar. The first one who bring printing machines to the Middle East was France. They opened schools, education became way higher, they opened hospitals, they make roads for them. Hundreds of years under the Ottoman Empire. They cut your trees, they take your women, they take your men, they come to the houses, they collect the men, they send them to war. And those men, you will never see them again. This is what they did to the Arab, the Turkish. 
for centuries. They come to your house, you have a chicken, they take the chicken. They see a beautiful woman, they send her to the Sultan. This is why in the Middle East, when the Ottoman were occupying, the burqa became number one dressing clothes even to the Christians. Because if they see a woman, she is beautiful, she, they see her face, they will kidnap her immediately. This is the truth. Go to Israel and let us see how many women, Muslim women were kidnapped by the Jews and they rape her. Ask the same question about what the Muslims did to the Jews in the time of Muhammad and even after. Go and watch the videos of ISIS. The Israeli army, they take a person, they put him in jail, they have a TV, they give him a flu shot, they give him nice, a nice meal every day and they give him Quran. Quran, brother, and they have a mosque inside the jail for them. <laughs> when Muhammad, he killed the Jews, there was no Israel as a country today, as a government. But Israel exists always. It's a land of the Jews. There was no America. There was no Australia. And nobody attacked them and nobody even knew about them. But Muhammad still, he killed the Christians and killed the Jews. Muhammad sent the letter to the Romans, says, convert or die. Ask them, test them. So my friend, I am a person who is a Middle Eastern. And supposedly I'm an Arab. Sorry, I don't mean to be. But it happened. And I feel really too much unfair that life is unfair to me. I go in airplane, they check me extra because I'm an Arab. But I don't blame them. I don't blame them. Islam gave me a bad reputation just because I'm an Arab. Because of Islam, we have to wait for three hours, four hours in the airport. Before that, people, they go to the airplane and it's okay, they're safe, it's, everything is fine. If you go and check back in history, you will see that Yasser Arafat, number one business for him, is hijacking airplanes. The one they made him a president and they made him have a land. And I say that the one who made him a president is the stupid leaders of Israel. When they signed the agreement of Camp David, this is what happened when you have a donkey as your leader. What that agreement did to you, people of Israel? Nothing. You give them land, they want more. You give them the East Bank, they want the West Bank. You give them Gaza, they want Jerusalem. You give them Jerusalem, they want Tel Aviv. You give them Tel Aviv, they will chase you to Europe. You go to Europe, they are coming after you. When the people, they will learn Why people are dummy? Why? When Muhammad, he said clearly that time will come and we are going to go after every single Jew. And even the trees and the rocks, they will tell us there is a Jew behind me, come and kill him. Why we don't see Muslims who they are going in a table in America, printing this and put it in the top of their table. Because they are coward. But if they are majority, trust me, they will put it there. The stone would say, Muslims, here is a Jew behind me, killing him. Do you see the teaching of, Islam does not teach hate, brother. Islam does not teach genocide. Even stones and trees are going to join the genocide against the Jews. And don't think if you are a Christian, you are safe. Oh no, the Quran says it clearly that you should be killed too. I'm not going to keep you longer. The truth is, me as an Arab, I would love to prefer to live under a government run by Jews. 
all my life and not to live under any Islamic government in the world. All Islamic government in the world, they share one thing. And you need to ask yourself why. There's no human right. And you need to ask yourself why. There's no freedom of speech. And you need to ask yourself why. Nobody dare to complain. Nobody dare even to go in the street to protest. Why they can protest only in Israel? Because the Jews are kind people. Because the Jews, they believe in democracy. Because the Jews believe in the freedom of speech. Those same people, they don't dare to protest in Hamas territory. In Hamas territory, there's no jobs. There's no food. Hamas is eating everything. Who dare to protest? Go and watch the videos of Hamas throwing Palestinians from the top of the roof just because from the, or other, from the other party. And I made a video about it many years ago. They throw people from the top of the roof, their own people, just because they oppose them. But in the media, you will, they will show you a Jewish soldier is holding a, a kid from his hand, arresting a kid. He is not even eight years old. But the kid is throwing a rock at his face. You know, a rock? In history, there is someone in the history of the Jews, all of you, you know his name. He threw a rock at a giant and he killed him. A giant. They don't want to tell you the truth because they are assuming that you are a fool. And now we have a big fool in the White House who is anti-Israel. And why is anti-Israel? Because he is the puppy of Obama. And this is why they are desperate. They want to sign an agreement with Iran so Iran can be back powerful and sponsor all terrorist groups in the Middle East. Terrorist groups are short of money because of the sanctions of Trump. Biden, he cannot keep it because his boss, Obama, told him. We have, you see that right away when Joe Biden became in the White House, right away he started negotiating. He did not even wait a month. They are desperate trying to find a way to save the regime of the mullahs. We have an antichrist in the White House, anti-God. The day of a prayer in USA, have you ever heard of a president? He speak about the day of a prayer, but he forgot to mention the word God. I mean, the day you are making a speech about it is God day. And the potato, they claim that he forgot, not on purpose, to mention the word God. What make it even more worse, that Jewish in USA, they voted for this idiot. Do you see stupidity? Jewish people in USA, the majority, they voted, they always vote Democrat. I cannot believe it anyway. I mean, how in the world this has happened? When somebody says it's the end of the time, sometimes I say, come on, you are exaggerating. I don't believe it's the end of the time. But it's a clear evidence that we are going there. For the world is coming upside down. The one who said the truth, he is teaching hate. The one who said the truth, he is unlogical. The one who said the truth, we have to silence him. The one who is hypocrite is a hero. So my friends, be truthful as your Lord the Messiah he said to be. Don't support Israel blindly. If the Israeli doing wrong, we are against the wrong. And don't go against the Muslim blindly. Always support what is right. We don't hate Muslims. I will never hate them. And I will never hate the Jews. Even though I remember once a Muslim, he says to me, but isn't it them they who killed? He asked me, D -d don't you hate the Jews? I said, no, I don't. He said, oh, but then don't they, they kill Jesus? 
I said, well, don't you say Muslims that they did not? He said, yeah, but uh, according to your belief, they killed him. I said, okay, well, according to your Muslims, Jesus himself was a Jew. So the Jew, they killed the Jew. What's your problem? You see the hypocrisy? They wanted me to hate the Jews. And then I said to him, my Lord is the Lord of the Jews. And he said in the cross, forgive them, Father. They do not know what they are doing. So if my Lord forgive them, why I will not? That is my Lord, the Lord of love. In the cross, on the cross, he said, forgive them, Father, because he knew that somebody is filthy is going to come after teaching hate against the Jews. And he will say, oh, let us go and kill the Jews. They killed Jesus. Jesus, he knew the future. He can see it. This is why he forgave them in the, on the cross. And if Jesus forgave them in the cross, no Christian had the right to judge. The Lord will judge everyone by his fruit. And that including us and the Jews and the Muslims and everybody. And the Lord, he said, from their fruits, you shall know them. From their fruits. Senad saying to me, open your pal talk, Mr. Israel. Well, my friend, uh, you are a Muslim, you want to talk to me now, suppose you are a hero? Okay, I will open pal talk for you, Mr. Israel. By the way, your prophet was a Zionist, and your God is a Zionist, and I will prove it to you in two seconds. Let us see if you dare to call me. I will open it just for you. Hmm. A Muslim support is insulting me now. Mr. Israel. Here we go. What's your name there? In Pal Talk? <coughs> I am in Pal Talk. Tell me your name, Mr. Senad Vago. In Pal Talk. In a second, I will show you how Muslims they are in denial of their own cult. He will deny his God. He will deny his prophet. What happened to you, Sanad? Are you there? I am in Pal Talk. There. Ah, here we go. I cannot call you. You have a stolen software. Even your software is hijacked. There we go. This is message appear usually when you are using a stolen window or a stolen software. Really, if you really need update. Go send me your dad. Or call me from a decent, legitimate window program. Mr. Israel, your God is the slave of Israel. Your God, he says, I been fa I favor the Jews above mankind and the genie. And what make it more funny, that he favored them even upon above the genie. Hey Jews, Allah he favor you not even only above the Palestinian according to the Quran, even above the genie. Your prophet, when he made this verse, obviously he was a Zionist Jew. He was the puppy of the Jews. He was trying to kiss their shoes and their bums. And he said, Jews, God favor you Jews above all mankind. All those verses, read them, one after one. Chapter 2, verse number 47. Chapter 2, 122. Chapter 6, verse number 86. Chapter 7, 140. Chapter 7, 1. Chapter 45. Uh, verse number 16 and what make it more funny it says that all the prophets are coming from them and what make it more funny it says we are the one who made them wealthy and what make it more funny the idiot Muhammad in his Quran he keep calling them the children of Israel 
And then an idiot from Hamas, he says to you, there's no Israel. Uh, it says they are children of Israel, there is no Israel. It says in the Quran, children of Israel, there is no Israel. Indeed, we gave the children of Israel the scriptures and the understanding of the scriptures, not you Muslims, you need Sahih al-Bukhari to understand. The Quran confirmed that the Jews, they understand the scriptures according to the Quran. You Muslim, you don't understand anything. You need Sayyid Bukhari, you need the Tafsir Ibn Kathir, al Kurti Bi'at Tabari, al Jalalain, and then after we show you all of them, you say, I don't like, accept them. And not only we give them the scriptures and they understand the scriptures, we give them the prophethood. And to make it even more worse, the dummy Muhammad, he said that the prophet of God, all of them, they are from Isaac. From the seed of Abraham, the prophethood, he mentioned what names? He mentioned two names. Do you see it? From the seed of Abraham, this is a chapter 29, verse number 27. From the seed of Abraham, there is a prophet, and there is only two. The verse did not mention Ishmael. Why? He's the older, he's the eldest in the family. What happened? Because at that moment, Muhammad was the puppy of the Zionist. Muhammad at that time was trying to convince the Jews that he is going to be a Jew. He's a Jew. But the Jews, they knew he's a scam. And we bestrid. And we are denied among his offspring, the prophethood. Mentioning who? Mentioning Jacob and Isaac. So my friend, even the book of the devil says that this is your land. Even the book of the devil Muhammad says you have the prophets. Even the book of the devils Muhammad says you have the perfect understanding. By the way, it's not me who's saying that. So don't say I'm saying that. I'm just reading what the book of the devil Muhammad says. So if you're a Muslim and you say it doesn't say that, CP, that's because you are a hypocrite, liar, and denying what we are showing you in the screen in front of your eyes. And my message to the Christians, a Christian person who don't support Israel, and when I say Israel, I'm saying the land of Israel and the people who live in it to have their land. He is no Christian. Because if you don't believe that this is a land, then you don't believe in the Bible. Then you do not believe in Jesus. Then you do not believe in all the disciples. Then you do not believe in a single story written in the Bible because all those lands, all those stories happen in that land. What do you think? Jesus was visiting there. Peter was in vacation there. What do you think? That the disciples of Jesus, they came to Israel as a Hawaii? All of them, they were Jews. Peter was a Jew. Paul was a Jew. All they were Jews. So when you side against the Bible, you are siding against Christ. Don't side with the Jews because they are Jews. And don't side with the Christian because they are Christian. And don't side with the Muslim because they are Muslims. Side with the truth. This is a land belong to the Jews. And we showed you with reference that even this land belong to the Jews in their Islamic books. And we showed you in the reference that even the one who built the temple, according to the Muslim was Suleiman. 
And they are not talking about the temple, by the way, of the Jews only. They are calling it Baytul Maqdis, which means the Aqsa Mosque. The Aqsa Mosque, according to Muslim, the one who built it is Solomon, the son of David. And this is the reference in front of you. Who can deny it? At that time, the Muslim, they were reporting history. They never thought that the Israeli, they will come back to their land. They never thought that the Jews, they are going to have it again. Who is going even to believe that this will happen? But this is a prophecy in the Bible, and every prophecy there is going to happen. And the Bible says clearly that God will gather them. Like little chick around a chicken. We'll gather them from everywhere. And we show you the verse even in the Quran, which is copying the Old Testament. So when the Muslim were saying this, they were reporting the truth. But they never thought that time would come and we will read it to everybody. So everyone will see that this is their land. And the Muslims are witnessing that this is the land of the Jews. A Muslim who is not politically correct. A Muslim who is not blindly going against history. When Suleiman, the son of David, finished building Baytul Maqdis, which means the Aqsa Mosque, which is not a mosque, as you see, this is the temple of the Jews. He asked Allah for three things. And you can read the rest. So, my brothers and my sisters, being a person who is an Arab should not make you blind. I am an Arab and I say this is the land of the Jews. And I'm not giving them a privilege. I'm not like being kind to them, no. I'm just saying the truth. Only blind people don't see it ignore it. They claim it's not exist. Give the land to those who build the land. Give the temple to the one who built the temple. It is not right that the Jews, they build the temple and then we give it to somebody, he occupy it. It's not right that somebody, he built a house. Aren't they talking about they take a house of a Palestinian? Well, guess what? They did not even build that house. And guess what? They never owned that land. And guess what? Even the money came from United Nations and to make them stay there as refugee temporarily. Guess what? The house of David built by David and the house of Solomon built by Solomon. And this is their book saying that the father established the work, the son finished it. And now they will say to you, after I finish my broadcast, they will say you are a liar. Now this is my message to the Jews. Download my videos, post it wherever you want. My videos are for free. We love Muslims, we don't hate them. But we will never love evil. We will not, never support the criminals like Hamas. We are against anyone to leave his house. But shouldn't be your house first. We are against anyone to be taken away from his land. But shouldn't this land be your land first? When you stole it long time ago, it does not make it your land. You know that. You know that, that the children of the man you took it from them, he is going to come back and he is going to ask for his land. I want to say thank you for being here. As you know, I don't keep my videos in my channel. So if you like to download, feel free before we take it down. Or YouTube will take it down. Because YouTube loves me to death. The same as uh, <clears throat> Al-Qaeda. They love me to death. And Hamas. The Kabir. Lord have mercy on the fool. Lord have mercy 
on the idiots. May the Lord he open their eyes and make them see we have too much stupidity in this earth. Enough is enough. Thank you all. God be with you. Pray for Israel. Pray for peace. Pray that those Arab there, they will see the truth and they will stop being full of hatred. Israel give you health insurance. Hamas don't. Israel give you the right to vote. Hamas don't. Israel give you equal right as a citizen. Hamas don't. Israel make you a member in the parliament. Israel don't. Uh, Hamas don't. Israel make you a minister in their government. Hamas don't. This is the truth. Which Islamic country make a Jew a minister? Which Islamic country make a Jew a parliament member? Which Islamic country have democracy anyway? When they have election in Islamic countries, 99.9999.9.9, they vote yes. And the one who did not vote yes, he died in the accident car, car accident when he was going to vote yes. This is the truth. Did you ask yourself why they have no freedom? If Islam is nice, because Islam is a religion of dictatorship. Muhammad he said, obey your prince even if he is whipping you back and stealing your money. Even if he is whipping your back and is stealing your money. Thank you all. May the Lord bless you. And let us see how long it's going to take before you to take this video down. So I will not give them the privilege and the honor to take it down. I will take it down myself. But I will give you a few hours to download it. Especially those who they are from Israel. And don't forget to subscribe if you did not subscribe yet. And if you are a person who subscribe, and subscribe. Because that will make Allah happy, especially if you are a Muslim. Thank you. God bless you. And this is humbly your brother Christian Prince who was with you. Sharing his humble opinion. You don't have to agree with me. You can go against me, but don't go against God, for that will be a big problem for you. No one win against him. It's a lost war. You cannot go against the man. You can go against the Jews. You can go against Netanyahu, but you cannot go against God. If the Lord is with me, who could be against me? The Lord said, to his people. I am with you. I will be always with you. If you don't believe it, try it. God bless. Christ is Lord. Islam is false. And Shalom to everybody. Take care. Terima kasih sudah menonton tayangan ini. Jangan lupa subscribe, like, dan komen ya. Tuhan Yesus memberkati, sampai bertemu lagi, bye-bye.